There will be times when a song you have in ProPresenter doesn't look the way you want. It, the lyrics are correct, but they're broken up on the slides, not in the way that you prefer. That's what we have here in this song, Angels We Have Heard on High. If you notice, the first verse, we have two lines on one slide, two lines on another. And then on the second verse, we have four lines. Third verse, we have four lines. Last verse, we have a line on each of four slides. And that's not exactly what we're looking at. We like it to be something consistent. So if you find something like that, and the, the breaks between slides are not what you want, you use the reflow editor, and that will help you get it exactly the way you want it to be. Let me show you how to get into the tool. To use the reflow editor, you click on the view menu, and then from the drop-down menu, you go to reflow editor. In the Windows system, you can use Alt-Shift-R on your keyboard. We'll go right there. When you look at the reflow editor, it pops up two panels. The left panel is the lyrics, the right is the thumbnail. And you can use the, the, the arrow in the middle to adjust the amount of territory that each side gets to use. You also have a button where you can enlarge by using the slider, the words, or make them smaller. Okay, let me make it about like that. Or you can enlarge or shrink the thumbnails. Either way, whatever you like to do. Okay, let's leave them about here for now. Let's assume that I want this last verse, instead of four slides, to be one slide. I see here on either side, you're editing always on the left side. So I, let's, let's assume I want them to be one slide. Well, if I go to the end of See Him in the Manger Laid and hit Delete, nothing happens on my keyboard. The way to do that is you go to the next slide, go to the left side, the very beginning of the line, and you hit the Backspace key on your keyboard. And then, because there's no carriage return after that comma, you have to hit Enter. Now, I don't see it reflected over here yet. I have to click somewhere else, and now I have each, each of those lines on the same slide. Let's take the Mary Joseph Lend Your Aid. I want that on slide number six. You notice it renumbers. Backspace key on the keyboard, then Enter key. And then I click somewhere else, and I see that's added. I'll do one more. I want to unite the, this line with these three. I hit Backspace, and then I press Enter. That's all you have to do. Now, I also notice that my first uh, verse has, is split. I don't want that, so I'll click in front of the A on, on slide number two, hit the backspace key, enter key, click anywhere else, and now I have four, and then these two, four, four, four. That's what I wanted. Let's say I changed my mind, and I want to split the verses. I don't want four lines, I want I changed my mind. I want two lines. How do I do that? Well, you'd think that if you go after this one and hit enter, it might do it. But all that does is enter a space. The way to do it is go to the same place where you want a new slide to start and go down and hit this, this button that says insert slide break. I'll do that and watch what happens. Okay, it, it changed this slide into two slides. Let's go down to this one here and try it again. After prolong, end of the line, insert slide break, and that one's split. And we can do it again on the last one. All right, after sing, insert slide break, and there we go. Oh, I have one more. I won't worry about that. So that's the way to do it. And let's assume I'm really in a foul mood and I don't like that and I want to go back to the way it was. Again, you just go to the, the uh, left of the line Hit the back skip base key, enter key, click anywhere you want. And again, this is went from two to four. It's a very easy way to change the, the lines that appear on any particular slide in ProPresenter 6. Uh, and when you click on the X on the reflow editor, it closes it. And we have the, however it is we wanted it to be. Uh, there's another tip. When you're bringing a song in, in Song Select, you can use the edit button 
and you can go right into the reflow editor before you do anything else. It will save you a step uh, if you're not sure that the division of the lines on the slides is exactly what you want to do. So that's another way to get into this tool. Thank you so much for uh, allowing us to give you some guidance on your use of ProPresenter 6. We trust that this lesson in using the Reflow Editor in ProPresenter 6 has been of use to you. If you like our lessons, we ask you to like us and subscribe here at The Sharper Turtle. Thank you.